Hey, <clears throat> hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a Tuesday morning installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we're going to talk about the expectation of gratitude. Expectation of gratitude. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. This, as I said, this is the Tuesday installment of Thanksgiving week. Seven minutes in the morning here. Let me put this up here real quick. Just a reminder, since I'm on the road this week, the show is pre-recorded, but I am live down in the comments. So do go ahead and leave a comment. Say good morning. Say hi. Let me know that you are here. I'll appreciate that, as I mentioned yesterday. And uh, if you are listening somewhere other than on Facebook Live, maybe it's uh, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, maybe watching on YouTube, listening on SoundCloud, do yourself a favor. Head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, 7minutesinthemorning.com. Get you to the right place where you can join all these other fabulous people in the comments and uh, join in the conversation with us. So yesterday I talked a little bit about gratitude, and then after I finished the show yesterday, got into quite the lengthy discussion on uh, Facebook, considering, um, considering walls and the creation of walls. My friend Brian Dixon made a post and asked a question about whether the walls that contain us or constrain us are of our own construction and there was a nice long discussion that went along with that but it really kind of reinforced the idea that I need to talk about the expectation of gratitude you know I and and then even yesterday afternoon had an opportunity to reinforce this in another conversation frustration is a function of expectations let me say that again I I hope I can remember to put this in the comments uh, in the morning frustration is a function of expectations. When we expect this result and we get this result, we are frustrated. Right? But if we expect this result and we get this result, we're super excited. Right? So what's the difference? I use the example quite frequently of going to the bank. That's something we can all relate to. If I go to the bank and I go in, I expect it to take 15 minutes and it takes 30 minutes then I'm frustrated. If I go in, I expect it to take 15 minutes and it takes five minutes, then I'm happy. And the only difference between the two experiences is my expectation, right? So, I'm not sure that story worked out exactly the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. Proceed imperfectly, right? That's our mantra here. So here's what I want you to think about today as we kind of get into... Uh, kind of the Thanksgiving holiday spirit here. Any time that you are not that, that you're having trouble feeling gratitude, you know. Yesterday I talked about uh, this quote from Chief Tecumseh uh, that ends with the idea that if you can find no reason to give thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. Right? If you're having trouble finding something to be grateful for. Maybe you've set your expectations in such a way so that they can't be met. And look, sometimes we do this to protect ourselves. Don't you? Don't we? Don't we all, right? I mean, I do. So, let me fix that. That's bothering me. We do it to protect ourselves, so we say we set our expectations super high. So, almost so high that we know it can't be met. And, and then we don't really, we might tell everybody that's what the expectation is, but in our heart, we, we know it's a lot lower than that. And so what happens? Because we're not aiming up here, we have a hard time hitting down here. I tell people all the time, and I have coaching clients come in, and I say, well, you know, how much money do you want to make? Well, I only need about, you know, whatever, $25,000 a year to get by. So, okay, so that's what you want to make? Yeah. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we aim for 50? And then if you only get 25, you'll still be okay. 
right? This, this is all about expectations, goal setting. No, I mean, all of this stuff that we talk about on a day in and day out basis here on the show, all this stuff is coming together. So here's what I want you to take away today. This is what I want you to be mindful of today and thinking about as you go through your day to day. Are you setting your expectations appropriately? Are you aiming high enough? Whoa, man, that might be sharp for some folks. Maybe I should have warned you about steel-toed boots today. But the I, look, you you have to accept responsibility for this stuff. Right? Maturity is a function of responsibility, not experience. Right? And now, the problem with that, and some people have a problem with that statement, but, but where the challenge comes is that we gain, um, as we gain experience, we learn to accept responsibility. But we've all seen people that are 40, 50, 60 years old. Everything is somebody else's fault. They're as immature as the three-year-old, right? Maturity is a function of responsibility. We have to take responsibility for our own outcomes. I mean, a great place to start is being grateful and finding something to be grateful for and, and the ability to set our expectations for gratitude. Set them at the place where they need to be so you can be grateful, Right? Maybe, as, as Chief Tecumseh says here, maybe today you're just grateful for something to eat, for the joy of living, for having a job, for having the business. You know, we talked on Friday about, you know, taking cupcake games. I probably should have mentioned this yesterday. Alabama struggled a little bit. Right? Some days you just need to take those cupcake days. Right? If you didn't see that one, by all means, go back and check out Friday's episode. Right, but find the way, find something to be grateful for. And the easiest way to do that is to set expectations appropriately. Thank you so much for being here. As I am out of town, it will be a best of episode on the radio show today, but I would encourage you still go listen to it over at WTKIRadio.com or uh, if you're in the Huntsville area, 1450 AM 1053 FM. And I will be back here again in the morning with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.